I'm Craig Lee. I'm Rob McGee. And this is Real Talk with Rob and Craig for Thursday, the 22nd of October, 2020. This week's a little different for us. It is our continuing education week. So we're busy bettering ourselves for you. Hope you appreciate it. Oh, also today, Rob wants to talk about when you see those signs all over, I know we see them all over in Washington. We, we buy, buy ugly houses. houses. And you may have gotten notices in the mail. You may have had unsolicited attempts from companies saying, hey, we'll buy your house. And there's one reason they're doing it. They're searching for an angle to steal some of your equity. Uh, when you see those homes and somebody's coming to you unsolicited, they're looking for an opportunity to make the money that you could make if you sold your house through a traditional uh, method. Uh, and what they'll do is they'll come in, they'll find everything wrong with your house, a loose banister or a, a chipped stair, stair on a, a staircase or something like that, and they'll tell you, mm, you're not going to be able to get full dollar because you have all of these issues, but we don't care. We're going to buy it from you cash on the barrel, but we can only pay you this much. And what they'll do is they'll come in and undercut you, sometimes by $100,000 or more over what the home is really worth. So we wanted to talk about that. It's just one more of those things, Craig, where it's kind of a buyer beware. If somebody's coming to you with an offer that sounds too good to be true. It is. It almost always is. So, so before you even talk to those people, and I'm not saying that there's probably people that uh, think that they they would do better by going with someone like that. They, maybe they're behind. Maybe this was a bailout. Uh, you know, there's yeah. there's a lot of circumstances. If you really try and educate yourself, uh, there's realtors that will come in, help stage your home, like Brenda Kelly. There's a plug for Brenda. Uh, she'll come in and help you sell that house and and still get paid on it. Yeah, and get what the market yeah. deserves. Listen, a lot of people sell homes that have deferred maintenance. A lot of times they'll sell a home where they're they'll say. I, I know I know I've got a gouge in my countertop. I don't want to mess with fixing it. You can still sell a home uh, it, that that has something like that, and maybe you'll get a little bit less for it. But a lot of times, these companies that are that will be soliciting you are looking to make up a lot of money on your back, and they're hoping that you don't know what your home's really worth, and they'll try to convince you when they come and meet with you that. All of these things that are wrong with your house, this is why we can only offer you a fraction of what the market value probably should be. So, so if you were if you were in a situation, a bad one, I, I've been I've been in bad situations in my life. It's been a long time. Thank, thank the good Lord. But uh, <laughs> what? Where would you look? Where would you start? Well, I, I think the the thing you want to do is call somebody that's reputable and that you can trust. Now, Craig and I are not realtors, but you can call us and we can put you with somebody who is reputable and who will look out for your best interests. A realtor, when they're representing you, has a responsibility to look out for the highest and best offer and the, the most money that you can get if you're going to be selling your home. Uh, and that's why you employ them, because they're going to be your advocate. If you go with somebody and you're not represented by a realtor, then you, there's a really good chance that you'll get taken advantage of because you don't have somebody on your side fighting for you. Also, if you get in a situation where you do need legal advice, here's another plug for one of our past guests, Martin Burns. Martin Burns is one of the best that mm -hmm. uh, that I've ever talked to. I would I would recommend him to anyone. Yeah. Uh, and you pay for what you get, guys. I mean, he's he's a top notch guy, but you're going to pay a little bit more in, in some cases. In some cases, you're going to come out ahead because he's going to tell you the right way to do it and go about it. And, and it's an investment. Money. Yeah. You figure what you'll save and, and it, it, it's well worth oh, it. So it's, it's hands down worth it. Uh, another thing to talk about is rates mm -hmm. because rates are still amazing guys. Uh, Rob said something uh, on one of our shows recently and he said, if you're in the threes, call us. That's still, that's still true. Uh, I mean, we're doing VA interest rate reduction loans at two and a quarter. Yeah. I mean, that's unheard of. That's crazy. Uh, conventional refinances are in 2.875 or, or better. You know, these are these are good circumstances for these people. But call us if you're still in the twos or, or I'm sorry, the threes. Please call us and uh, let us see what we can do to help. Yeah. And, and 
always, if you have questions or suggestions, please let us know. Our numbers are right there in front of you. And I want to thank Jill Brothers, who is a friend of our office and watched the show. It was her idea because she gets these notices of the We Buy Ugly Houses all the time. She suggested to me, you should talk to people about this scam. So thank you, Jill. Also, please like and share this application. Also, go to www.realtalk.mortgage. That'll take you to our website, mm -hmm. the Lee McGee channel. And uh, please send us all your friends and family for referrals. We'll take care of them like they're our family. I'm Craig Lee. I'm Rob McGee. And that's Real Talk.